WWL Louisiana News at Noon begins with breaking news. That breaking news right now at least six people are still unaccounted for after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore, Maryland. A cargo ship slammed into that bridge overnight, causing it to collapse. Multiple vehicles fell into the water below. Good afternoon, I'm Leslie Spoon. The National Transportation Safety Board is headed to Baltimore now as the search continues for the people who may have fallen into the water. Officials say two people were rescued and crew members on the ship all accounted for and are okay. Ryan Hughes has the very latest from Baltimore County. Video shows the moment a cargo ship plowed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge. CBS News has confirmed the massive container ship lost propulsion before impact. The entire bridge, the entire key bridge is in the harbor. We know there were individuals on the bridge at the time of the collapse working on the bridge. Now the Coast Guard and other agencies are racing to find possible survivors. In addition to workers on the bridge, video shows multiple vehicles on the span. And our response teams are doing everything in our power to rescue and recover the victims of this collapse literally as we speak. The 974 foot cargo ship called the Dolly left Baltimore Harbor about 20 minutes before the crash. At one point, crew members on board notified state officials that the ship had lost propulsion and that hitting the bridge was possible. But we're thankful that between the May Day and the collapse that uh, that we had officials who were able to to begin to stop the flow of traffic. Video shows most of the lights on the ship going out just before the accident. The steering system on a um, on a ship like this is hydraulically powered. And so when you lose electrical power, you're going to lose the, the hydraulics. Of course, the rudder is uh, hydraulically powered. Officials say the workers on the bridge were repairing potholes. A facility has been set up with mental health professionals for family members to deal with this tragedy. Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Baltimore County, Maryland. The Francis Scott Key Bridge opened in 1977. It's more than a mile and a half long and crosses Baltimore's outer harbor. And Southeast Louisiana has had its share of disasters involving ships or barges hitting bridges. Among them, this 1993 incident involving the Judge Sieber Bridge, also known as the Claiborne Avenue Bridge. A towboat pushing an empty barge hit a support tier of the bridge. Two cars fell into the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal. One person did die. Two were seriously injured. And stay with WWL Louisiana and CBS News for the very latest on this developing story and a look at some of the other bridges in our area um, that have been impacted by disasters like this as well. And we will, of course, bring you updates on air, online, and on the WWL mobile app.